So, there are 150 Pokemon in this game, obviously. 19 of which are unobtainable without trading with another Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee game or by using the Go Park in Future City. 12 of these Pokemon are exclusive to the Let's Go Pikachu game, so I can't get them in this one. Uh, with one exception, RK9, uh, I do have, but I can't obtain Wigglytuff due to the Moonstone issue, so it's still 12, I guess, that I can obtain. I'll just group Wigglytuff with that instead. Four of these Pokemon are trade evolutions, again, requiring trading to obtain, so I can't get them. Which sucks, because I'm using two on my team, and I can't get their final evolutions. Two of these Pokemon are fossils, unobtainable due to choice locking, so again you need to trade with another game that has the alternative choice to obtain the other choice, obviously. And similarly to the fossils, there's a choice Pokemon that I have yet to show on camera, which I will show here soon. Uh, you can get one of the Pokemon, but you can't get the other one, so you gotta trade to obtain the other one, obviously. Which means that there's 131 Pokemon in this game that I can get. I'm at 127. Very close. Not quite there. The Pokemon I'm missing are Gift Pokemon, like I just said. Lickitung, which isn't available till the post game. And then Mewtwo and Dragonite, which I also Mewtwo is not available to the post game, and Dragonite is going to be difficult to get because it doesn't evolve from Dragonair until level 55. And let me open my Pokemon box here. I did catch a pincer. Yeah, level 25. I got 30 levels to go. It's going to be a pain to get this thing where I want it. Um. I'm probably just gonna spam a bunch of catch combos until it evolves. I I don't know. But with the Pokedex all caught up, I do wanna show something in here. This lady here, do you want to remind your Pokemon of a move in exchange for a heart scale? Absolutely. Did you got? can learn Heat Wave. This is why I've been so adamant, no uh, unintended, about having a Pokemon that has a high special attack nature. I can't remember the nature specifically, but having the high special attack is good because of Heat Wave, and this is what I was talking about. Let's get rid of Wing Attack. Now it has to remember that move. Come again if you need anything else. Uh, let's just see if my Pokemon have any other moves that might be useful to learn. Oh, yes. Leech Life. Got a huge buff, uh, I think last gen. Last gen or this gen? Uh, anyway, it, it went from, I think, like 20 power, maybe even less to 80 power, and it's a bug type move. Uh, super effective against psychics, darks, grass types. And it gives me extra type coverage besides just grass and poison. Uh, I should point out that Power Whip was learned as a level up move, I think level 54? 120 power, 85 accuracy. It's just basically like Blizzard or Fire Blast, but grass type move and physical. I think I might get rid of Mega Drain. As powerful as Mega Drain is, especially with the same type of attack bonus and the huge buff it got for this game, it's a special move. And actually, my special attack isn't as low as I thought it was. It's still a lot lower than my physical attack. I'm going to go with Leech Life instead. And since I was overly excited to show you the Pokedex and I forgot to do the intro, 
Hello, hello, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Uh, when I was last in Saffron, I just made a beeline straight for the Pokemon Center after I beat the gym. I kind of missed an item. And, as I said in the intro, I forgot to uh, pick up a Pokemon here. Here's a second gym. Not really much of a gym. It's a fighting JoJo. I don't know if I can avoid all the trainers. But there's a coach trainer. Hwah! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. I'm intentionally doing so. Black Belt Hitoshi. Only got one Pokemon, thankfully. Sending out Primate. Pretty low level, because I've already completed the game pretty much, and I forgot to do this and I had to go back for it. But the Psychic should take care of you pretty quickly. Easy victory. He said oof. Oh, wow. All the way from off screen, huh? I have no fear for anything tough. I shatter boulders for training every day. It seems like these guys are pretty basic. Just one Pokemon each, I'm guessing. I hear you're good, I won't hold back. Took you long enough. You, are you a challenger? Yeah, with a Primeape, Graveler, Poliwhirl, and Machoke, having a Lapras that has Psychic, Surf, and Solar Beam, these guys are really easy. Uh, are you at least a challenge? Oh, I saw not the button. Hello. I'm on loan to the Fighting Dojo. I'm a pretty strong trainer. Want to have a battle? Let's have a serious battle. Hiya! Uh, she tried. Coach Trainer Leona. Two Pokemon. Sending out Machoke. I've already taken care of a Machoke pretty easily. I'm sure that yours is going to be no challenge whatsoever. Especially since you're only one level higher. Four fifty-four. Trying to get Lapras and Machoke to level up. They're uh, still one level lower than I want them to be. I want my whole team to be level 55 before I take on the Elite Four. I don't know if I can outspeed you, but I'm gonna try. I do, okay. I know I'm 20 levels higher, but Electabuzz is pretty speedy. Totally defeated. That was a great match. I want you to have this. Oh, hello. TM23 Thunder Punch. Smash your opponent with a fist wreath in electricity. It just looks weird where they're all standing over there facing each other. Enemies on every side. What goes around comes around. I like to imagine that he's grunting the entire time he's gesticulating at me. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Jump, jump. The bunny rabbit himself, Master Koichi. Sending out Polyrath. Well, this won't be much of a challenge. Level 34. Still no level up. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prize fighting type Pokemon. Oh. 
Choose whichever one you'd like. Well, there's a reason why I said that the unobtainable was uh, this one, because I choose Hitmonchan. You want the piston punching Hitmonchan? Punches in corkscrew fashion. It can punch its way through a concrete wall like a drill. You can only choose one. Did you tell me that or did you tell me you didn't fit you didn't turn to face me? You must have said that. Ah, I should have chose the talking Pokemon. Oh well, I got hit my chan instead. The three elemental punches and dizzy punch. 70 power. Can leave the target confused. Level 30. Uh I mean it would probably have been nice to have this when, you know, I was in Saffron the first time. It's currently very much under leveled. So I'm obviously not gonna add it to my team. Uh I am still a little bit under level with Lapras and Machoke, but I think I should be fine. I have 15 each of the three major potions. I got 20 revives, 10 full hills. I think I'm fine. Let me uh, show off my team before I head in, because I've made a few changes to the movesets. Uh, Solar Beam, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Surf, I think that's all the same. Earthquake, Fire Punch, Rock Slide, and I taught Self Destruct, just in case there's a Pokemon that seems to be kind of a pain in the ass i can just self-destruct and take out a massive chunk of health at the very least i can try to force the opponent to use the potion so that might be nice razor wind heat wave air slash new turn dig rock slide toxic and brick break toxic same sort of thing if there's a pokemon i'm having difficulties with i can try to force the poison because toxic has 90 accuracy i thought i had 100 I think it's only 100 if your Pokemon is poison type. It guarantees every time or something. I know that there's a very strange mechanic that was changed uh, after I stopped playing Pokemon. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Oh, that's how you rearrange the moves. Okay. Glad to find that out as I already completed the game. Uh, I did reteach Buzzy Buzz. Again, I'm hoping for an instance where if I'm struggling, I can hope for a paralysis to make it easier on another Pokemon because a lot of my Pokemon are relatively slow. So a paralysis would help a lot. Plus, uh, I believe the first trainer is Lorelei, which we already saw she has Lapras. Uh, she's an ice trainer. Um, ice tends to be paired a lot with water, so electric might be useful. Batty Bad and Glitchy Glow. Both of these are the uh, reflect and light screen, so that's going to be nice to have. And then Sparkly Swirl just uh, heals all status conditions of my party, which is very OP. And we got Power Whip, Razor Leaf, Poison Jab, Leech Life. You saw me teach Leech Life. That's my team. I think we're pretty much well set. I know I just said that she's an Ice Trainer, but I'm going to put Victory Bell up front. I don't know if her team is the same or how similar it is to the previous games, but I believe she starts in all games that she's in with a dugong, so <sighs> let's go. Oh, I was going to put Eevee in. I, I just interrupted that. I am mean, mean to my Eevee. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Oh, looks like you made your way here. Sure took you a while, though. Well, then allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can beat... That does not say beat, it says best. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. That's because frozen Pokemon can't do a thing in battle. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. 
That's a cool little screen effect. I like the frosted mist in the background. That's kind of cool. Oh, I'm actually not really that underleveled. I think the Ely 4 increases in level by like 8 or 9 by the end of it. So I think I'm right about where I want to be. Let's try to race relief. I don't want to go all out just yet. I shard is priority, so my speed would definitely not matter there. Critical hit's nice. Jinx, Ice and Psychic. I could stay in, I do have Leech Life. You know what, can I solo with a Grass-type Pokemon? Nobody's ever allowed to disrespect the grass poison combo ever again if I win this. One shot. Lapras, that's gonna be a bit of a pain. I might have to use Power Whip on this one. It is a one shot as well. Cloister. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about this one. It's got very high defense and I'm only using physical moves here. So it might survive. Even a power whip probably. I'll try it. It did survive. This is not good. Okay, I, I tanked it. I did not mean to select it again, but I got lucky and it hit. It has kind of a lowish accuracy, so I didn't want to use that. Plus, it's kind of a waste to use a 120 power move when you only have like 3 HP left. Slowbro, sure. I might not have to use any items at all. Oof. Maybe I do. Well, I just soloed her entire team with the Grass Psychic. Er, uh, Grass Poison, sorry. I was just thinking that I'm also weak to her Psychic typing. Looks like you got stronger since we last met. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. Taste salty. <sighs> And I got myself filled up. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting type Pokemon, and that will never change. Ace, was it? We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo ha! Sending in Onyx. Level 52. Down by Razor Leaf. Sending in Hitmonchan. Well, let's send in Pidgeot. I have an air slash with your name on it. We already know that Ice Punch and Thunder Punch can be taught to Hitmonchan, so we gotta be careful.
Didn't quite get a crit. Oh, it's a flinch, right. This one's a flinch. It's air cutter. That's the uh, crit chance. Still works for me, though. Singing Hitmonlee. Not as much type coverage, but I think a little bit better stat coverage. Rock Slide doesn't do too much damage. I think Hitmonlee's the defensive one while Hitmonchan's the attacking one. And then there's him on top, which isn't in this game, which is a little more evenly spread. I don't think I can one-shot him a champ. I didn't think so. Use superpower. I'm used to, uh... Gen 2, where he has a Machamp that uses Rock Slide a lot. I was kind of expecting that. Guess not in this game. Either that or the AI is just bad. Either way. And Polyrath. slash again. Can I at least get another flinch? No. But your attack and defense fell. My Pokemon's moving in slow-mo. I was a little bit nervous that it might use Mach Punch or something. Got a level up for Victory Bell and for Lapras. Out up to the rest of the team. If you have defeated me, then my job is done. Ugh, I may not like it, but go. Go face your next challenge. Can do. She has the face of a ghastly. And her room smells like one, too. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taking a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's a fool. Pokemon for, for battling. Ace, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Elite Four Agatha. Sing in Arbok. I held on my team and put Machoke up front. Hopefully, this will be a breeze. I was going to put up Golder, but Golder is a little bit slower than I like. Oh, you got the glare off right off the bat. I'll still try to go for Dig. Well, at least I won't be poisoned. speed cut and the 25% chance of that uh, okay two turn dig is not great well it's time for a full restore and I was hoping this was gonna be a breeze actually yes poison me uh I don't want to be paralyzed anymore. Please, no. Okay. Oh, thank you. It heard me. It is not even a one shot. This should at least take care of you.
I'm gonna switch from Machoke. <laughs> Not great against her team. The slight speed indifference is like just enough to hinder me completely. 95. Gengar. I think pretty much everybody on my team has a move that's super effective against it. Uh, you know what, let's give it to Eevee. And Glitchy Glow. Especially since uh, Gengar tends to use special moves. Protect myself against that a little bit. Hurt by poison. And now we got the Reflect up. She's gonna have a Gold Bat sending in. Good job, get you level up. Another Gengar. I'll keep battling. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was poisoned by Sludge Bomb, right? Not toxic. I should be able to, assuming I don't get critted, get a hit off right here. Especially if I avoid the move. And EV expel the poison. Level up. A little bit of a boost to my special defense. Almost 200 there. Actually, that's my highest stat. Look at that. And Golda gets to level up as well. Don't get to see the super high attack stat on that one, though. All right, let's switch. Let's give Golda a little bit of a... Ooh, 223. Look at that attack. Give Golda a little bit of a... Chance to shine here. Didn't do so great against Sabrina, but you can do pretty good against a Weezing, surely. Especially since there's no abilities, no levitate to have to worry about. No more light screen. She does indeed have a gold bat. I'll stay in. Not really much a gold bat can do to my golder. Easy one shot. Oh my, you're something special, child. You win. I see what the old dove sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Enter the void. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put Vipers up front. And heal up. Um, actually, I mean, I am going to heal up, obviously. If he's similar to previous games, again, he doesn't start with the dragon type. He starts with the dragon egg group Pokemon, Gyarados, which is water flying. Electric moves are better. So Eevee will actually get a chance to start this battle. Besides, in the unlikely event that he does have a Gyarados and it tanks the attack, I can get the paralysis off. So you're ace. 
I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You likely know that dragons are Pokemon spoken of in Legends. They're hard to catch and raise, but the powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your Pokemon Challenge... Pokemon League Challenge ends with me, Ace. Talk to the hand. Cedra. Well, I was still kind of right. Start off with a buzzy buzz. It does evolve into a dragon type Pokemon, Kingdra, but not in this game. It requires a Gen 2 uh, group of Pokemon, I guess you could say. And it requires Pokemon to hold items because you need Dragon Scale. So why you have that on your team, I'll never know. Aerodactyl, I think. I was too busy ranting. Uh, I don't want to send to my person against Aerodactyl. I'll stay. I'd rather try to get a paralysis if I can. Aerodactyl's really fast. Yeah, super fast. And I get a flinch. Eh. Well, I get flinched. There's the paralysis, and I should be able to take it down next turn. Flying in slow boat. There's a Gyarados. Why didn't you start with that? That's what I was expecting. You should always do what I was expecting. Fuzzy Bush one shot, hopefully. There we go. For being a dragon trainer, you haven't used a single dragon yet. And you still haven't. You know what, Machoke can uh, make up for the awkwardness that was Agatha. By taking care of her Charizard for me. Rock slide. And there's Dragonite. Dragonite can learn all of the elemental beams. Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt. Don't know what this one has though. But Ice Beam is your one shot. And I get to outspeed you. Goodbye. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you're a first class Pokemon trainer. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you. Ace, you are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenger left. There is one more trainer to face. That trainer is. Hello there, Ace. Congratulations on your victory over Lance. Hmm? What's with that look of surprise? Ha, <laughs> your timing is perfect, Professor. Ace, the one you will face, is Professor Oak. Well, not really. It's Uwu. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the Pokemon League champion. Can't I face Professor Oak instead? 
In the past, trainers who defeated the Elite Four were only recorded as champions. This time, however, we'll be officially establishing the champion as part of the Pokemon League. Professor Oak is here to officiate the crowning of the new champion. It seems only fitting that it should be either you or Uwu. You're the two who took care of Team Rocket after all. Now then, head onward to the stage of your final battle. Let me heal up and save and all that good stuff first. I'm all set. Starting off with Lapras. Assuming that he's going to start with Pidgeot, hoping to bait an early switch into his Raichu, and then from there I can counter each Pokemon individually. Let's see. You did it, Ace! Oh man, that's great, I've been waiting. I beat the Elite Four and became the champion. You probably heard from the Professor, right? From now on, the champion will be a part of the Pokemon League and battle all kinds of trainers. I'm really glad that my first opponent turned out to be you, Ace. You're the one trainer I wanted to test my best against after all. Let's battle, Ace. The champion seed is on the line. Of all the weird names in this game, Uwu is the weirdest. He does indeed start with Pidgeot. Level 56. I think I'm actually pretty, pretty much set on where my level should be. Pidgeot is the one with the key. I, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Pidgeonite. I get. I don't know what the Mega Stone is for this thing. It looks like a jumbo jet. Right, it it has that thing where it says you instead of the opponent. That always throws me off every time. I think I'd be used to it by now. All right, no flinch and we're good. Now again, I'm hoping to bait him into trying to switch him to Raichu. No, Vile Plume. Uh, I think I'll speed Vile Plume. If not, no big deal. But I do. Probably gonna go for Petal Dance. Oh, Solar Beam. You have to charge to use that, so goodbye, Vile Plume. Critical hit. Didn't really need that, though. There's the Raichu. Switch over to Golder. I think it might have something like Double Kick. But I have Earthquake. And a 223 attack set. You can't touch me. Level 57, though. That's impressive. You have Iron Tail. That does a little bit more damage than Double Kick, but still. My defense is so high, I don't think that would even do that much more than half. I, I honestly doubt. Slow bro. Let's switch to Victory Bell. I've already proved how effective Victory Bell is against Slow Bro. In fact, I'm not going to bother with uh, trying to two attack it. I'm going to just one attack it. Oh, wow, you tanked it. So did I. Mm hmm. Now I can leech life, beat you, 
and heal myself up quite effectively. You tank that too. And you get the critical. I'm trying to do the math in my head. That didn't make sense. I know I can't battle. Show me the moves. Oh, it's 55. I thought it was 50 power. Still, that... Oh, no, I'm just bad at doing math. Okay, I'm just dumb. I was trying to figure out why Leech Life didn't beat Slowbro when... It sh seemed like the Rage of Leaf... The, the amount of damage that Razor Leaf did, it just didn't make sense to me. It does now. I'm just dumb. We're good. Moving on. Switching out Eevee. Uh, he's probably not going to use another potion. But you know, I gotta say, only having one Pokemon faint, right? During the entire Elite Four, when I'm not overleveled or underleveled, I like to brag a little bit about it. I could have switched. I want to try to get the other one off. Even though I guess it doesn't really matter against uh, Marowak, generally physical. Well, so much for that. I will have to admit, I did not expect that. Okay, I, I might switch. It's probably going to use Brick Break, which is going to suck against Golder. And it'll probably use it again once I try to attack. But I think I can take care of it with a simple Earthquake. Wow. This, uh, this battle is pr pretty much just me being surprised at how well his Pokemon can tank my attacks. He must have used candies or something. I also beat a Marowak, really? That's kind of sad. Oh, Rapidash. I think it has to move that super effective against me. Drill Run, probably? I'll just send in Lapras, go for a Surf, see what happens, why not? It's his last Pokemon. Blitz. It does indeed knock me out. Okay. Well then, Golder. I'm gonna use a healing item really quick on the Golder. Nope, nope, go back. the bit. Oh, avoided Flare Blitz. And Earthquake should take care of you. I guess I didn't really need to heal up. Eevee gets a level up. 
My EVs all caught up to his uh, Pikachu that he started off with. His Raichu. I think my leveling was actually pretty spot on on this game. Oh man, my reign is over already. That was pretty short. Be the champion now, Ace. As for me, I've got a new goal to work toward. Ace. So, you've done it at last. You've defeated the Pokemon League. My sincerest congratulations. You've grown a great deal since you first caught Eevee and set out with that Pokedex. Yes, Ace. You've really come into your own as a fine young man. And Uwu, you show great resolve, never losing heart as you saw your journey through to the end. I did see, though, in the way that you do battle. That kind heart of yours might still be causing you to hold yourself back when it comes to your Pokemon and to facing Ace. It's hardly much of a weakness, but it may have cost you the battle this time. Regardless, the two of you showed us an extraordinary battle. Th thanks Professor. Ace, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing, don't you? It was a marvelous bond. Hey, I've heard that before. You share with your Pokemon that brought you here. Now, Ace, come with me. Ahem. Congratulations, Ace. This is where we record forever the Pokemon who have performed so admirably for the trainers here at the Pokemon League. This is the Hall of Fame. Being honored here is one of the greatest joys a Pokemon trainer may achieve. Ace, you battled hard to become a Pokemon League champion. Let us record this great achievement of you and your Pokemon for all to remember. Let's go, Eevee! I gotta say, this has actually been a lot of fun. Uh, for being so used to the generic top-down perspective from older games, having a 3D adventure like this was a hell of fun. Like, I got really immersed into this. Um, I even started playing Pokemon again. I think I mentioned a lot a long time ago. Uh, I started playing Pokemon Sword. And I've been having an absolute blast with that one, especially with the uh, going out into the wilds and going into the 3D, moving the camera around. I'm just like fanboying the entire time. It's so much fun. Uh, <laughs> but with this game, it's kind of nice to see the old region that I'm already used to, the entire game that I've come to love, that game that I grew up on, with the modern mechanics like the fairy typing, the uh, newer moves that I like. I which were in the older games. Plus seeing the, uh, the stuff from Pokemon Yellow, the Team Rockets, uh, Jesse and James all over the place. That was also kind of a nice touch. I like the fact that they brought that back too, uh, cause they remade Gen 1 with Fire Red and Leaf Green and they didn't include that. They just remade, uh, well, Red and Green, the Japanese games. And I believe that this was explicitly a remake of Pokemon Yellow. Um, but yeah, like I said, I had a lot of fun with this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. It's kind of hard to commentate over a game that I don't really know 100% of what's going on because as I said in the first episode, I stopped playing Pokemon after Gen 5. Um, <laughs> so the Mega Evolutions, I'm not used to. Um, I think there's also like Ultra Beasts. Um, I'm just barely getting used to the, the whole... Gigantamax 
thing with uh, sword and shield. <laughs> There's a lot of mechanics I really need to catch up on for sure. It's kind of a shame that they didn't have the abilities in this game though, because there, I, there's a lot of moments where I definitely would have struggled a lot more if there were abilities. Plus, I think with the way the experience leveling system is in this game, I think that would have just been too much of a frustration for any new players that were trying to play the game. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. I think I've already said that. But what I haven't said is that if you do like the video, you're always free to click the like button. If you dislike it, feel free to click the dislike. If you want to see more, I plan to start a series relatively soon. There's still some post game for this, but I do have the next game in mind. Feel free to subscribe so you can catch that, and feel free to leave a comment down below.